Now, as we have already gone through with the introduction of Bootstrap, now let's set up the environment so that we can start implementing with this technology. So for downloading this Bootstrap, we'll go to the official website of Bootstrap from where we will download the package and once we are ready with those particular things, what we are going to get is the scaffolding. Scaffolding means we will get a number of folders differently for the CSS, for the JS in the different folders so that we can uh, actually pick up the particular concept like we'll, it will not be hard to find whatever we are getting from the uh, package because it will be scaffolded in a particular it will be structured on the particular folders CSS CSS is basically the set of all the classes which we can apply in the different uh, parts of our web page such as the header the table div or maybe any other tag components like if you want to work with any let's say glyph icons all right you want to create a button in which you want to put an icon so these are all the part of components which you will get from the package and the javascript plugins javascript plugins will basically help us in providing in making the rapid application development all right like plugins will give us some uh, predefined functionality for which we don't have to make much efforts so let's start setting up the environment and once we are done I will use Visual Studio as the editor tool but in case you don't have any ID like Visual Studio since I'm using it I'm a .NET guy you can use it with any other uh, ID like uh, maybe NetBeans or any other or if you don't have any you can start it from the core such as you can take any editor like notepad or any browser all right so just a basic editor like notepad and any latest browser will help you so let's start working on the environment setup now so to get start with the environment setup of bootstrap first of all i'll have to come on the official website of bootstrap that is getbootstrap.com and here in the home page you will find a link for downloading as soon as i'll follow this here i'll get a number of options to download and to set the environment for bootstrap first option is to download the compiled css and js file so when you will download that you will get the compiled code for this particular version of bootstrap similarly you can also download the core source file of the bootstrap that is the uncompiled version of bootstrap for which you will have to compile the bootstrap as per your own requirement now next one is the bootstrap cdn where you will get the link of the required css and js file which you can copy and can start working on bootstrap similarly you have the package managers maybe if you are working with node.js Node then you have npm for ruby gems for composer for bovo for nuget you have the different kind of uh, the environment available for which you can just configure and download your bootstrap here i'll start working with the uh, compiled css and js file so i'll click here on the download and as soon as i'll do that it will start downloading bootstrap on my local system as soon as it is done i can come to the folder where i will get the zip file of this bootstrap so first thing what i'll do is i'll extract this and inside this I'll find a couple of folder that is CSS and JS so inside CSS I will get the list of all the required CSS files which we can use in our designing so here as you can see bootstrap.css this is which is the base uh, CSS file for the bootstrap when I'll open that let's open it in notepad plus plus so here you can see it is much clear code and here we can just uh, check the code we can make the required changes similarly you will find the minified version of the same file where you can find the code is not very much clear all right and uh, obviously if some developer wants he will not be able to understand what exactly is mentioned here so we will use this bootstrap.css file for the development purpose while this bootstrap.minified version.css uh, for the production purpose so that's why it will be lighter all right means in the production server it will not occupy much space because 
the white spaces are being removed and if you will compare the size even here you will find it smaller than the original bootstrap file so here you will find the different purpose bootstrap CSS files like grid again you will find a minified version so here you will find the reboot.css and similarly a minified version for that reboot all right so these are all the CSS files which we will use now let's come to the JS file where you can find a couple of uh, minified version and the normal version of bootstrap.js which will be useful when you will be working on the widgets make sure that when you are using the things from these JS files you will have to refer the jQuery uh, CDN or file as well because the prerequisite means for using these files jQuery reference will be essential so now here as you can see I have downloaded the required files in my system in the next video we'll see how can we get started with the implementation of bootstrap